Scott Safety is a world leader in the design, manufacture, and sale of high-performance safety equipment and products for first responders, industrial workers, and governments around the globe. We have an unwavering commitment to deliver quality products and solutions designed and built to solve real-life problems. With over 80 years of experience in the safety equipment industry, our close collaboration with our customers and a heritage of innovation have enabled us to consistently deliver solutions that keep you safe. The Eagle Attack Thermal Imager was developed for rapid response tactical situations. The Eagle Attack weighs a mere 27 ounces and is designed to provide you with detailed thermal images to assist with fire localization and victim rescue. Throughout this program, we are going to cover the operation and maintenance of your Eagle Attack thermal imaging cameras. This includes proper operation, basic maintenance, and cleaning. First, let's get familiar with the Eagle Attack thermal imager. The Eagle Attack consists of five major components, the battery, the handle, the housing, the accessories, and the charger. All components were designed to be effective, lightweight, and easy to use. The battery is just six ounces and provides some of the longest duration in the market. The lithium ion battery provides up to five hours of operation on standard cameras or three and a half hours on cameras outfitted with TVR, thermal video recorder. The benefits of lithium ion are longer runtime versus weight penalty and reduced need for maintenance charging. Lithium ion batteries are good for over 500 charges. Most customers should expect their batteries to effectively support their mission between two and three years. The battery is designed to be easily removed even with gloved hands. Simply tightening or loosening with your index knuckle will allow the user to secure or remove the battery. Alternatively, a Phillips head screwdriver may be used. Although it is not recommended, in case of an emergency, it is possible to change the battery in wet environments. It is not recommended because water could contain a high amount of minerals, causing an increase in conductivity, resulting in damaged electronics. The handle is a lightweight, high-strength design that will support over 200 pounds. The handle has three mounting locations, so you may deploy the camera as you see fit. Between the battery and the handle, there is a TVR download connection. We will talk about this more in a few moments. The housing is the location of the display, on-off button, and field replaceable germanium lens. A couple of internal options are also contained in the housing. To energize the camera, press the green power button. The startup screen will be displayed for about two seconds. It's easy to tell which internal options are loaded on the Eagle Attack startup screen. The gradient box in the lower left indicates TAC mode, and TVR indicates the camera is outfitted with an onboard video recorder. Any Eagle Attack can be upgraded with TVR functionality through your local Scott Thermal Imaging Service Center. The camera comes standard with black and white imagery. Optional TAC imagery, or temperature awareness colorization, is a mode that utilizes the colors yellow, orange, and red to indicate temperature. This rapid recognition of temperature assists users with situational awareness. On cameras outfitted with this function, objects above 200 degrees are shaded yellow, objects above 500 degrees are shaded orange, and finally, objects over 800 degrees are shaded red. The reason Scott selected these temperatures is the yellow indicates the possibility of steam generation. Orange indicates objects that are close to the combustion point of common building materials. And red acts as a virtual warning of flashover. TVR download is about as easy as getting files from a portable thumb drive. The TVR function records over four hours of video onto RAM memory inside the camera. The files are standard MP4 files saved in 15-minute segments. And once storage capacity is reached, the system will begin overriding the oldest files. The files are time date stamped as well. These videos are useful during debrief, scene recreation, evidence, and training. TVR can also be a virtual black box of information. The housing is also the location of the Picatinny rail mount for items such as flashlights or lasers. Other accessories include a retractable lanyard and glare shield. These accessories may be added at any time. Not only did Scott do a great job with the camera, the charger is also quite impressive. 
the charger simultaneously charges both the spare battery as well as the battery attached to the thermal imager. Blinking LEDs indicate the charger is charging the batteries, and solid green LEDs indicate the batteries are charged. If your batteries are outside of the normal charging temperature range, the charger will indicate with yellow. If the LED indicates with a red LED, this indicates a problem with the battery or the charger. Also, we designed the charger so that up to three units may be powered through a single input. You can see here where the power is attached and how the charger supports a daisy-chained power supply. Of course, wiring your charger should be done in accordance with your local requirements. Next, we are going to conduct an inspection of the camera. First, we want to inspect the camera housing, handle, display, and lens for cracks or damage that interferes with the performance of the camera. Verify all hardware and bumpers are present, snug, and properly fastened to the camera. Verify the battery is undamaged and the charge contacts are clean. If installed, check the flashlight mount and the flashlight for proper connection. Check the lanyard for proper operation. Check the charging system to verify all of the fasteners and hardware are present and snug. Check the battery contacts. They must be clean and spring back when depressed lightly. Check the housing for cracks or broken parts and check the straps for tears and cracks. Inspect electrical connections and be sure that the connections are secure and properly protected. The Eagle Attack is a dependable and durable thermal imaging camera. Extensive testing has been conducted such as tumble tests, drop tests, submersion tests, water jet tests, corrosion tests, and so on. On top of that, your camera has a two-year standard warranty, and an additional warranty may be purchased at the same time you buy your camera. Even after all of this testing, depending upon the environments that the camera is exposed to, it may need a little upkeep throughout the life of the camera. We are now going to cover the user level maintenance. To service the camera beyond these steps, please contact your local Scott Thermal Imaging Service Center. Bumper replacement is easy. The bumpers are available in multiple colors, and for a complete list of available colors, please contact your Scott Thermal Imaging distributor. Simply peel off the bumpers that require replacement. For the lens bumper, find the text stating top and orient this side of the bumper on top of the lens and press until fully seated onto the housing. The glare shield replacement is quick and easy. First, slide on the top of the glare shield and work around the perimeter until the gasket is fully engaged and press until fully seated. For the battery bumper, first locate the charging contacts and the contact access extrusion on the bumper. Then install the battery into the opening of the bumper and gently work the battery into the bumper until fully installed. Verify the proper positioning of the mounting hinge and the charging contacts. If you should have a camera with a damaged germanium lens, remove any loose shards of germanium. Take care, this can be as sharp as glass. Remove the lens bumper to gain access to the six screws that secure the lens in place. Carefully remove any loose shards and be careful not to touch the shutter mechanism. If the shutter mechanism is damaged, the camera will require service from a Scott Authorized Thermal Imaging Service Center. Once the germanium lens and any loose particles have been removed, clean the gasket seating surface and install the gasket and lens like so. Next, ensure the screw holes are properly aligned and thread the screws into place. All six screws should be installed and then tightened in an alternating fashion, tightening each screw to six to eight inch pounds of torque.
Other basic replacements can be completed, such as the battery mounting hinge, camera hinge, and battery mounting screw using basic hand tools. A complete set of instructions and warnings may be found in the instructions that came with your Eagle Attack thermal imager. Thank you for your time and have a safe day. This video has been produced by Scott Safety to familiarize you with your new Scott product. Remember to follow your department's procedures when operating, inspecting, or cleaning any Scott Safety product. Should you have any questions about this or any other Scott Safety product, please contact your Scott Regional Manager, Field Service Specialist, or Scott's Technical Support Group at 800 247 7257. Thank you and have a safe day.